Over 2,000 years ago, ancient Chinese scholars observed the changing patterns in our natural world, the climate, the turning of the seasons, and astronomy. The scholars measured and divided the sun's annual movements into 24 equal parts, creating the 24 solar terms, which were used to govern agriculture in ancient China. Even to this day, this invention still guides the lives and traditions of hundreds of millions of Chinese people. Around the 23rd of July each year, the hottest solar term arrives, the Great Heat. During this time, crops of the warm season enjoy their fastest period of growth. Traditionally, people eat ginger and pineapples and pray for good health and blessings of prosperity. The great heat is the 12th solar term out of the 24. It has both the longest daylight hours and the highest temperatures of the year. Under this intense heat, many people choose to escape to the cooler climates of the north. As for myself, seeking to experience the true magnitude of this solar term, I came to one of China's hottest inland cities, Chongqing, a place that Chinese people have nicknamed the Furnace. Chongqing is a geological basin Surrounded by mountains on all sides, its terrain makes it very difficult for heat to disperse. And, as a result, the summers here are both incredibly long and intense. With Chongqing's large areas of water, the air is humid too. At the arrival of the great heat solar term, the entire city turns into a steaming and sizzling sauna. Well, as I travel this incredible country and experience all of these amazing seasons, this has had to be probably the hardest one so far. Not only is it the heat that makes this city hard, but it's all of these hills and mountains that makes it almost impossible to build. Now, 30 years ago, what's behind me here was those old stilt buildings, but now it has transformed into this incredible megatropolis of 30 million people which is hard to comprehend. And that has all come from the hard work and sweat and determination of the incredible people of Chongqing. On the streets of Chongqing, something immediately caught my attention. The people of Chongqing call them bang bang, meaning quite literally bamboo pole. <笑>就整天都上班整天都上班整天都上班老板房找钱就在春节就休息几天哎春节回去休息个休息一个星期嘛一个星期嗯歇一会儿摇队哎我我哎我跟不上你我都太没有太多东西了一个地方嘛他三
wielding a meter-long bamboo shoulder pole, was created. Chongqing people have long been accustomed to this style of living. From furniture to household appliances to groceries, if you cannot do it, you only need to call Bang Bang and a porter will come to help immediately. It is said at its peak, the city once held 400,000 Bang Bang workers. Today, following the city's development, convenient public facilities are now widespread. Like this escalator, stretching to 112 meters in length, the longest in Chongqing. Life in the mountainous city of Chongqing has become much easier than before. And so, Bang Bang workers began to decline, although they have not yet completely disappeared. Relying on a bamboo pole for a living is a hard life, but is also genuinely liberating, and it reflects the wild and unyielding character of the Chongqing people. Oh, in the sweltering temperatures of the great heat solar term, cold noodles are probably the most appropriate meal to have. Thin noodles are rinsed under cold water after boiling, then mixed with vegetable oil and left to cool a bit more. Before eating, ginger and garlic sauce are added with citron pepper oil. It looks simple, but it's spicy, cold and refreshing. The afternoon sun is the most relentless. Even with shoes, it burns the feet. When I used to live in England, I thought 30 degrees Celsius is in the summer was hot. Here, it feels more like 40 or even 50 degrees Celsius. I'm really looking forward to getting an iced coffee and sneaking away to somewhere with air conditioning. However, Bang Bang workers spend any time they have cooling off in public spaces by the street side. Oh, how Airid shelters. These were built into the mountains during the Second World War, serving as shelters in the event of an airstrike. Today, it has been refurbished into a natural cooling spot for the public. Yet, in order to adapt to the extreme temperatures of the summer months, Chongqing's people's ingenious ideas in building designs do not end here. Professor of Architecture Zhang Qingshun of Chongqing University is a researcher in the field of mountain region settlements in Chongqing and is also a specialist in modern architecture design. He has an extensive understanding of Chongqing's peculiar mountain region architecture. This is your 
，十年前，十年前，但是它那个景观是二十二十多年前的了，二十多年前的重庆，在十年前的画的，它是画的画的是比较典型的那个重庆的山地城市建筑那么一个景观，它都是一些在一些不好用的坡地和崖壁上面搭房子。它就跟着那个山的形状来，哎，跟着山的形状，啊、嗯，山的那个走势，啊、嗯，都是半封闭，有些有点开场，开场的，哎，它那个为啥子哎，就是为了那个江风吹进来，啊、嗯，既能透风，它又能遮阳光，这是小巷，下面一个小、嗯、小的街道，啊、嗯，越热，它越围在一起吃火锅呀，吃火锅啊，或者是喝啤酒啊，就在街边边就可以围到大家围一坐。The mountains around Chongqing are filled with lush bamboo forests. Because of this, most traditional buildings are constructed with bamboo and are not easy to preserve. The modernization of urban cities has not helped either. Much of the architecture in Professor Zhang's paintings have now ceased to exist. Because of my inquisitiveness, as well as wanting to escape from the burning heat of the city, Professor Zhang offered to take me to a historical town an hour away from the city centre. If we're lucky, we might find traces of the traditional stilt houses. Living in Chongqing's uneven mountainous terrain is not easy. The people here have always struggled for a little more living space. Beneath my feet is the path that locals call the Stairway of Love. It is perhaps the most romantic image of the persistence and unwavering character of the Chongqing people. Even though the bamboo forests offer shade, the ancient town is not exactly cool, but it's a lot more manageable than in the city. We took a casual stroll and came upon an open area of water. This is the dam. Dam. Yes, this is the dam. It's basically on a bank. 哎，用那个雕琢的方式，把那个作为支撑。以前的雕琢都是那个木柱，那个木柱，现在它都发展成那个钢筋水泥了。It's not quite how I imagined a bamboo house to look like, but it matched Professor Zhang's description of a traditional stilt house structure. The principal room is built on the ground. The wing rooms are connected to the main room. And has one side resting on the hillside. Its other three sides are suspended above ground by stilts. Resting beside mountains and suspended above waters, this type of building has endured thousands of years of Chinese history. This area of buildings beside the mountain was once a tobacco marketplace. Today, it is a residential area designed to keep cool during the summer. I'll buy a sign. How much is it? Five dollars. Five dollars. Okay. In periods with no air conditioning, these hand-woven bamboo fans are Chongqing's people's most valuable source of relief against the summer heat. Despite bamboo buildings being extremely difficult to preserve, this ancient town has nonetheless managed to retain buildings that are hundreds of years old. It's about 
建筑的特色，它就是它的那个屋顶上的、嗯，基本上是全封闭，晴不漏光，嗯，雨不湿鞋，嗯，好，晴天的再大的太阳，它里面都是阴凉的，嗯，下雨天呢，你鞋那个鞋子都是干的，是挺凉快。哎，外边都三十多度，就感觉到快四十度，然后真的里面这个现在感觉大概是二十五度，哎，二十五左右可能。现在商场的那个室内均匀空间也有借鉴，是吧？哎，有借鉴。In the contemporary world, the hilly terrain of the densely populated and bustling city of Chongqing is seen as a valuable resource. Its unique geography and climate have pushed architects to the limits of imagination. Combining architecture with the natural environment, they have created a truly unique Chongqing style of architecture. Chongqing people, of all Chinese people, love chili the most. Even in the melting heat of the Great Heat Solar Term, they refuse to be parted from their red chili peppers. Wow! 再拿一点，哎，这个可能要要要。怎么能看出来？它这个要煎一点的嘛，要煎一些。吃辣椒你不会更热吗？吃辣椒它主要就是祛湿。吃完这个就能凉快、哦、是吧？哦，吃这个就出汗就凉快，出汗就凉快了。Beautiful。Hot pots with chilies as their main ingredient are, of course, Chongqing's most popular and most welcome speciality. Chongqing people believe that the Great Heat Solar Term is the perfect time to enjoy this spicy cuisine. Hot pot is the most popular thing to eat in Chongqing. 走到哪儿吃到哪儿。嗯哼。越是亲密的朋友，聊天的时候，吃火锅可以吃很久，大家边吃边聊。有什么情况不能吃火锅呢？什么情况不能吃火锅？感觉在重庆没有。没有。是我们平常自己在家也要做火锅。With hot mouth-watering chilies and soup steaming up in the air, all in the lively company of friends around me. I could feel the beads of sweat trickling down my skin. The frantic buzz of the day fades away. At least for me, this is truly one of the most pleasant experiences of the Great Heat Solar Term. Chongqing people call it "xiongjie." Xiongjie. 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 Under the cover of night, I was finally able to escape the great heat of Chongqing. Millenniums have passed by. Our environment and lifestyles have experienced incredible transformations. But what has remained unchanged is the continuous turning of the solar terms. And the determination of humankind throughout hundreds of thousands of years to adapt and flourish in nature's challenges.